the first take, ladies and gentlemen. We're on the road for the NBA Finals. We're uh, in Oakland. We're handling town business, as they like to say. Cavs and six. We at the desk want to see seven because we think it's such a great series. Just, just as fans, we want to see seven games. They do not agree here. Our next guest was eliminated from the first round of the playoffs by LeBron and the Cavs. Celtics guard Isaiah Thomas is here. The audience clearly wants to continue their chat, Skip. <laughs> I, I, you guys, I was giving him a wonderful introduction. I was saying give it up for Celtics guard Isaiah Thomas amongst the chant. Can you guys give him a round of applause, Thank please? You. Put your hands together for him. I'd appreciate that. Thank you. Um, obviously, we, we should know that uh, LeBron and the Cavs took you guys out in the first round in the Eastern Conference playoffs. However, I want to talk about this specifically. You were there when Kevin Love was injured. Kelly Olenek, Olenek said it was just an accident. He didn't do it pers purposefully. But let's talk about that series and how it plays out. If Kevin Love is still playing, how, does, how do you see the series ending? I think the Cavs will win. Do you think they're going to win now? Do you believe they'll win without him? No, I don't think they'll win without LeBron needs help. And, and nobody's helping them at this point. So I, don't, I, don't, I think the Warriors will definitely win this series. Do you find yourself as a guard, the miniature guard that you are in terms of your ability? I'm just... He's not nine. an insult. You know, no, I'm yeah, good. I got my love for you. I'm yeah. He knows that, that about yeah, yeah. I mean, you got skills, you can ball, but more importantly, I'm watching the guards on Cleveland as a guard in the NBA. Do you find yourself frustrated that, man, if I were playing with LeBron, uh, oh, my goodness, I, I can't believe the, 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 the help he's not getting. What, is, what goes through a guard's mind that's not playing with LeBron when you see what, what what's going on in this series? I mean, LeBron just makes the game so much more easier than for for anybody out there on the court. And, it, and it's, it, it's kind of not embarrassing, but it, it's... It's embarrassing. It, it, okay, you said it. You said it. It's, it's not... He needs help, and, it, and it's sad because they're in the NBA, and, it, and it's like they're playing hot potato. When he passes it, they pass it right back. Mm. And that's you can't win a championship like that. You got to do something. By the way, when you refer to miniature, you know what they say about dynamite? It comes in small packages. This, this, right this here. is some dynamite. <laughs> small right. packages, no right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You got it. That's true. Now, you realize... If Kevin Love had not gotten hurt in your series, Tristan Thompson would not have emerged mm. as a force in these playoffs the way he has emerged. He just wouldn't have gotten the playing time. He wouldn't have gotten the shine. He wouldn't have gotten the run that he has gotten where he's become a featured part of this attack on both ends. So I, I can make a case that they've been a little better off without Kevin Love. That's that's tough to say. I mean, Tristan Thompson has played very well. He has. I mean, he he's he's he surprised a lot of people. Um, he's probably gonna make a lot of money. I'd say he just made a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. After this year, but I mean, it's Kevin Love though. Like that's that's an all-star guy that before this year, what he averaged 26 and 12. Like, you can't take that away from him. And um, I think with him, it, it would have definitely made it a, a a better chance to win to win this series. But LeBron has no help, and I mean, everybody in the world sees that. I'm going to go back. Let me make this statement before I ask you this question about the Cleveland Cavaliers. I don't believe for one second that Kelly, you know, Olenek, 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 yeah. Yeah. That, you know that he intentionally tried to separate Kevin Love's shoulder. But I do believe that was an MMA move, for crying out loud. <laughs> okay? I do believe that. I don't believe the intent was to hurt him. I thought the intent was to just stop him so he could get the ball. But don't tell me that was a basketball move. It was not. Now. Having said all of that, I know how you feel about love, but to me, even without love, what would this series have been like if Kyrie Irving were healthy and could play the whole series? I think if, if LeBron just had one other guy. I mean, you see Cleveland's been in every every game but one. I mean, they've led almost the whole game, each game, and um, they just don't have enough at the end. I mean, They Cle run out of gas. Yeah, they run out of gas. LeBron ran out of gas, and, and Golden State obviously has more help, and they, they are the better team right now. Mm. So we just discussed this, and I want your, your thoughts on this. All of a sudden, a guy in Andre Iguodala, who once upon a time back in 06, 07, made 82% of his free throws for a whole year, can't make a free throw. He goes two for 11. As a shooter, what is going on, in your view, in his head right now with the demons he's got to work through to, to start making free throws? Uh, 
Like last night when we seen it, he was kind of clocked out. I mean, you could tell he didn't want to go to the free throw line. He did not. He did not want to be at that free throw line. And, and it's tough in those situations. When you're missing free throws, the crowd is like, oh, my gosh, you can't make a free throw. Like, that's tough. And that, that messes with a guy's mm -hmm. mental side of things and, and messes with his confidence. So I, I think Cleveland should have definitely used that more. And, and, and made him. And we're made assuming him. that they will to start off. Yeah, game yeah, six. I would. I would do we'll something. Skip, skip Isaiah. I'll paint it this way, and you tell me what you think, Isaiah. I'm of the mindset that Andre Iguodala has the assignment of his life. It's not the moment that it be in the NBA Finals because he's doing well at everything else. But that adrenaline rush that you are on that requires you to lock in and to do more than you've ever been asked to do. Going to the free throw line, you have to calm down. Mm -hmm. You have to settle. Uh, I'll buy that. And some yeah. guys don't know how to do that. Yeah. And I think that's what's happening with Andre Iguodala. Did that you say what? I, I think so, too. He's just not. He has to lock in. Somehow, he's a pro. I mean, he's been in here, what, 10 plus years. He has to figure it out. Yeah. Never I mean, been here, though. Never been in the he, he hasn't. He hasn't. I mean, and I, I couldn't even explain how that feeling is because I've never been there. But at the same time, as a pro, you have to figure it out. Mm. You gotta I don't be know. Able to... Do you think fatigue has been a factor? No, because no, no, he, no, no, But he's no, no, playing no, 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 so hard no, no, against no, no, LeBron no, no, no. on the defense. I know it's bit. not fatigue because he's in phenomenal shape and he's hyped about being here. It's not fatigue with him. It's having that ability to settle down because you're amped up, yeah. not just offensively in terms of. First of all, you're being dared because they putting Timothy Moskov, yeah. somebody like that, on you, and they or they're leaving you open and saying, "We gonna guard everybody else. Damn it, shoot the ball." Yeah. You're like, "What?" You know. So all of a sudden, you're hyped up about that. Then you've got to be hyped up about defending the best player mm -hmm. in the world. So you're doing all of these things on both ends of the floor. Now you've been inserted into the starting lineup, playing additional minutes. I think what's his numbers here in terms of his 42 minutes, 28 seconds. That's more minutes. He's coming off the bench this year. Yep. So you're playing, and then all of a sudden, you got to settle down, sort of woosah, right. for lack of a better word, and go, all right, I got to settle down and hit these free throws. I think that's the adjustment that he's struggling to make because he's never been this awful. No. But he's shooting like a big man. Yeah. Ooh. Yes, like a DeAndre Jordan uh, yes, big man, I'm right? I'm talking about from the free throw yeah, line. I know. From I didn't say that. <laughs> he's yeah. like, I'm from the free throw line, not from the field. Oh, yeah, yeah, Not yeah, from yeah. the field, just from the free throw line. Well, I, I made the, the point. <laughs> LeBron had a shot to tie it at 86 with 424 left in the game. And Iguodala comes right down from the corner and makes the shot of the night, which was the breakaway three that started to, to develop a little cushion. Then he, then LeBron didn't box out Harrison Barnes, and Iggy got the little putback. All of a sudden, it goes to a, a seven-point game, yeah. and that's when Steph went off. Okay, which is, so we should ask him about Steph. What, what your yeah. view of Steph last night? What do you think? MVP. I mean, I mean, he took over. He took over when he needed to. The plays he makes is I'm a blue room. The plays he makes are like are like the plays you try to do in video games. Right. I mean the shots he takes, the shots he makes. He's an unbelievable, unbelievable shot maker, and and he showed why he's the MVP. So so do you think it'll be cat? Excuse me, Warriors in six or seven? I think I, I think it'll go seven. You think it'll go seven? I think it'll go seven. So LeBron will replenish. Yeah, but the Warriors will win in seven. The Warriors in seven. Um, let's, not, let's not ignore Draymond Green for a second, Joe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Draymond Green was getting vilified. And rightfully so, because as he admitted, he was got when your grandma, said it. when your grandmama got a Tells text, you, you said, you know, you're <laughs> I mean, you know it's bad when you when, when grandma, baby, yeah, you got to play better. Uh -huh. I mean, you know it's uh -huh. bad then. Uh -huh. You know that's how grandmamas talk to folks. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember my mom, my grandma did that. Here's the bottom line, though: he has shown up over the last two games, and he has been what Matthew Della Vadova was coming into game four. Draymond Green has stepped up and played that role and I got to give him love for that yep. because you know his money's coming up now. Oh, we want him to get his it's, money it's and he wasn't line. earning it the first three games. But Draymond Green has reminded us that for this team, he deserves his money now. Oh, no doubt. He's the X Factor. When he plays well, they win. Give him, give him love. You also are uh, an agent on your your all time, right? So you're trying to get who to the Celtics? I saw you out there uh, uh, tweeting about some folks you wanted. You want to share that with us? Who'd you like to see uh, in Boston? I got a few players in mind. Hopefully they could wear some green. I won't say no names, but you won't. I won't. Okay. I won't. Some big guy. In some Memphis. big guy. Some yeah, big that's guy. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or Portland. A guy, yeah, there's a guy in the, the two guys in the Western Conference right. that, mm -hmm. that are pretty good. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. hopefully they can make it over East. Mm. You act like you like in Boston. 
I do. I mean, they, you they, they, from, they Sac- like, from Sacramento to Boston? They like me. So I, I like them. Phoenix to Boston, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Phoenix okay. was a little yes, pit yes, stop. Yes. But. Yes. All right. Give it up for uh, Isaiah Thomas. Thank you so much. Oh, for being here. Right. Such a pleasure. Good luck next season. Uh, after the break, we're talking about LeBron James. He was responsible for 70 of the Cavs' 91 points. He scored 